I'm Kat and I'm the Node Community Manager and I'm here at the BSCB BSDB meeting in Morek. We asked the Node readers what they thought was the most exciting scientific discovery in the last few years and also what was the best scientific advice they ever got. So I think what I would call the most exciting advance is the um, rise of the super resolution imaging techniques. In my opinion the biggest advance was in uh, growing organoids. I'd have to say the ENCODE project has proved really useful but I think the real um, capacity is yet to be realised. This um, newly evolving technology called CRISPR, which enables you to actually make um, tailor-made mutations in the mouse genome and cells or in mouse embryos directly, is probably going to have a very major impact over the um, next two or three years. Uh, advances in single cell imaging and also uh, the ability to uh, obtain quantitative information from single cells are really exciting advance. So first of all the directed differentiation of stem cells allows us to model developmental processes in vitro. Together with improvements in imaging technology and imaging reagents and also of course the rapidly developing field of genome engineering, I think those three developments are coming together to allow us to address um, classic developmental biology questions about specification of cell identity in more quantitative ways in, in sort of single cell um, high time resolution. One of the advice I got was to be patient. <laughs> Um, I was told that sometimes my results may not make much sense, but eventually I will get that missing link and then everything will come together and make perfect sense. Tell people about your research, because even when you, you get so mired down in the little details, you forget why it's so exciting. Uh, I remember being in an American Society of Cell Biology meeting and a, a prominent cell biologist, Richard Hines, told me something. He said, don't worry about the things that you can't change. I think one thing is, if you want to go, do a good career, find a really good boss. But always work around problems, not through them. But analyse your data as soon as you get it. <laughs> do things carefully and properly, and the other one is never be afraid to ask questions. You have to have a passion for what you study. If you don't, then it just becomes very difficult. You have to really enjoy what you work on.